I'm especially excited about this vlog because these are exactly the types of vlogs that I spend hours watching on YouTube, especially um, when Lilo's taking her nap <laughs> and while Ellie is in her um, in her room for her online classes. Um, I really find extreme organization and declutter videos super satisfying and I love that I can get tips. And because I was recently able to apply them and I, you know, did a whole major declutter recently, I figured I would share it with you guys. And so I took videos and did my best. I hope that you guys also find it satisfying to watch anyway because I'm so proud of myself <laughs> and that I was able to go through this process all by myself. Okay, so here it is. So I began with the master bath and my bedroom because I like to clean from the inside going out. Para all the clutter and talent goes outside also and slowly finds its home, whether that's the garbage bin, the storage room, or you know, wherever it belongs. It's time to go back to normal or even improve our situation I just put my extra toiletries that can be stored under in a temporary storage while I figure out where it would go and all the rest I basically just transferred here so I remember what goes under the sink and what must be reorganized and stored here. In a way helps me figure out if I really need this if I'm still gonna make use of this and also lessen the clutter and make it easier to apply my five minute rule which is like just if I think that something only takes five minutes to clean up or put back to where they belong, I have to do it. I do that with all of my stuff except for Lilo and Ellie's toys. I give that until the end of the day <laughs> because I know that they're going to be needing them or playing with them the whole day. Okay, so I'm almost done with the tabletop and I decided to just keep this because they are just collecting dust on the corner and sayang naman since I don't really put makeup all the time anymore I'm just going to store them first under the storage I hadn't opened my under six storage in quite a while so I did not notice how much stuff there were underneath that I didn't really need anymore or that didn't belong here in Manila so I reorganized everything and stored them in separate bins temporarily just so that I could lessen the clutter and then I organized them into whichever baskets they could go to I don't know if it's obvious but I don't have that much clothes anymore. This is actually only 30% of what I originally had owned. I found, I've always found my closet space too small when I just moved in here and I have a third room which served as my major, my main closet space way back when I was still an artista. Okay, so this is our mess now, the little girl. <laughs> kind of made it worse <laughs> because while I was rearranging the under six stuff, she was also helping. Helping. <laughs> Through the years, I was slowly able to let go of the things that um, no longer served its purpose anymore, especially those clothes that I would only need to wear occasionally. I do try my best not to go shopping 
or not to solve my problems with retail therapy. I don't know if I would call myself a minimalist, but I do like living minimally and only owning things that I really need. So this is like my capsule wardrobe, which are the clothes that I know I will be using throughout my pregnancy. These three cabinets are all for her um, and th this is already all of her clothes. The ones that go in the bottom are clothes that don't fit her yet. The top two are just the clothes that she can wear every day. I definitely do not have as much clothes for Lilo as I did with Ellie. This time around, I know that all of Lilo's clothes are of good quality. There are no questionable style choices for Lilo. Every day, she's wearing something really nice so that I can make sure that she won't outgrow some pieces and end up never wearing them. with put my jewelry here since I don't really need them out all the time and my sunglasses which I never wear anymore Lilo's cloth diapers are up there because she keeps playing with them and just my other accessories my scarves my headbands like the big ones and Lilo's accessories And now we move on to my bedroom. So this is the portion of the house that gets used the most because not only do we all sleep here, it also sort of serves as a as an entertainment room. This is our room. <laughs> Welcome to our bedroom. <laughs> um yes the clutter is real guys i have excuses we had guests over i've been down you know everybody knows that so none of us were in the mood to do to move around for a couple days and then we had our cousins over so the kids were just busy playing we put all of Lilo's toys in here because she doesn't really have her own room and I've put mats, floor mats as well to make it safer for them to just play around and have enough space on the floor to enjoy their toys and keep themselves busy. Lilo is only one so there's always clutter all over the floor but as long as I know I have a bin to put all of her toys in, I'm good with that. I know that I can easily just put them away. And yes, I do organize Lilo's toys. I have a separate bin for every type of toy. There's pretend play, there's puzzles and educational toys, and just random stuff. So I'm now at Lilo's toys. While she's still sleeping, I'm organizing it. And yes, I actually, organize Lilo's toys. I just find that organizing it and categorizing it, even if she and Ellie just end up messing everything up every day anyway, allows me to make sure that all of the toys are being used or played with. also decided to remove the boxes in my cubbies because those are just stuff that I don't really need to be reaching out for often like my old tech gadgets or cords that I don't even really know what they are for. I've taken the ones that I don't need out and just kept the ones that serve as memorabilia and transferred them into storage already so that I can give way to Lilo's toys and just be able to use most of the area in my house as 
a place for her. So instead of me worrying about you know, reaching for stuff that might break or might hurt her, I know that most of the stuff that she actually has access to are her toys anyway. So these are just like my important stuff, writing stuff, journaling, and my gadgets, and then what can be used for storage and these are things I plan to actually put on top of this. And then with the other cabinet, that's where I just stored most of my things that I would need to reach out for on occasion, like my journaling stuff. Okay guys, so it's day three and I've done nothing more to the room than to um, fix the top of the stable and take out the um the shelf that i actually diy'd so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue fixing up my room so that we can head out and um finish organizing and cleaning the entire house once and for all lilo is already awake <laughs> and so i just gathered all of her toys in one area and just move on to the other parts of the room first so that uh, before i go back to her toys and show you the after of the room done with my room it's so nice and looks so nice and so much more spacious now and i'm so happy with all of the plants that i've added to it and the art on the wall like this one which i will just pack again <laughs> when it's time for us to leave yay you guys i'm so happy i'm finally done with my bedroom so here it is decided to reorganize was to make sure that the space would be Lilo friendly so I just put all of her toys here instead of my stuff and I transferred all of my stuff here instead my electronics and gadgets are here now and just like sanitizing area I like to put everything in trays and now we move on to outside of my bedroom <laughs> which is basically the rest of the house that's the living room the dining room and the kitchen like i've said i like to work from the inside out so ito na yung mga na lumabasa from the room some will go to ellie some will go here to storage well filmer's room but it's not storage there it's so cluttered because i received packages but i haven't touched them yet since I want to work on this and um, some of the baskets and organizers that I ordered, we will be using them for sure. Go. the part of the house that I like the least because when I moved in here you know my young violin free self <laughs> decided to put up a permanent and very specific bar that now has actually not been serving its purpose I just turned it into the entryway sanitation area I'm gonna put labels but this will be for dirty masks dirty cloth masks these are for the clean ones I just added these for guests and 
these are our extra disposable ones, extra masks. And the ones here are the ones that we use all the time. So it's easier to grab. Not to forget my library, which is not going to be a library anymore. It's now a pantry. It used to be filled with so many books because that was what I loved to collect. I decided to transfer all of my pantry stuff there. Other than the pantry items serving its purpose as ingredients that are easy to reach and see, they also serve as like eye candy and a design. Don't know if it was a mistake or not, but I took out all of the storage containers, the canisters that I bought initially for our Shergao home. I opened them up and got too excited and used them. So this is what I came up with so far. Not yet done. We'll go back to that when my um, containers are complete. A couple times, I would really take a pause and figure out what I was doing because I feel like the amount of stuff really overwhelmed me and I didn't expect that it would be such a struggle to choose which container, what ingredient will go into. Tried my best to put everything in its place, like to group them up and with all of the cabinets, over here, all of the drawers, there's, there was really no change. I, it just needed organizing. So with my pantry stuff, I kept stopping and then like transferring to a different area of the kitchen because I realized that like I started, I got too excited to start and not all of my jars have arrived yet. My favorite part, I did not expect to go through such a hard time cleaning the fridge but it was because it was the first time I did that in like 5 years. Now I am moving on to the fridge so this is going to be a tough job. Okay, so I've now cleared out the fridge and I'm honestly so excited to just um, give it a deep clean because I feel like I haven't done that in a while and now that I removed everything, it's so dirty. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna screw this back on and continue cleaning the other parts. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. I can't believe I just opened that thing <laughs> just for the heck of cleaning it. And yeah, I couldn't completely pull it out because there's wires. <laughs> I don't really know what that is or what that's for. Okay, back to work. And so, did not expect it to be that filthy, but I'm so proud of myself for finally cleaning it. Now, we are going to go to my favorite part, which is organizing. First, I'm going to put back the stuff that are already as is and then move on to my fresh produce and store them in their containers. put everything that we already have back in and it looks so much better, so much neater and so much easier to see everything that are needed to be eaten or cooked right away. Hi guys! <laughs> so this is the part where I forgot to press play a lot of times. <laughs> Silly me! But I was just so into getting the fridge 
super clean and I feel like this is the area that I really um, worked the hardest on because you know I don't want I got scared of all of the of all of the gunk and I don't want my kids to get sick or for their food to get contaminated. <laughs> now I'm loading our groceries and making sure that I get to store the frozen goods fast. I'm so happy. Oh, this is the most I can do with the cleaning. So there you have it. I'm so proud of my fridge and my pantry. We're gonna go back to it probably in a different vlog when all of my organizing stuff have arrived. Um, I'm just waiting for my containers and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna do like a separate tour on that to show you how I organized it. But for now, here is the after part of my extreme bedroom and living space declutter, organization, and cleaning. end of my cleaning and organization journey here in our Manila home. I hope <laughs> you guys um, enjoyed it as well as much as I enjoyed filming that and showing that to all of you. Um, it's, it's a dream come true for me to make a, a declutter vlog. <laughs> but yeah, I, I am so proud that I was able to go through this process by myself and that I was able to clean our entire house at least before um, Christmas and before leaving it for good. Um, bittersweet with a bittersweet feeling but we know that after we leave our home, this home, it will be the beginning of another chapter of our lives, hopefully on the island where we belong. <laughs> Thanks for watching!